everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to my How to Build series where I show you to build cool stuff inside of Minecraft. And in today's video, I'm showing you some secret entrances you can make that can only be accessed through using your Elytra Wings. Henceforth, why I'm wearing some awesome Elytra Wings right now. I've absolutely been loving these things. Now, I was supposed to put this video out the other day. However, I felt like I was rehashing the same design over and over again. So I decided to get down to the nitty gritty, delete a few of my designs that were in the video. I scrapped a whole other video and just got down to the basics and which ones I love the most. And I scrapped the ones that kind of felt like I just kept using the same one over and over again. Now, there are two redstone ones in all of these. Uh, they're very, very easy to build, but they're super, super cool, especially the first one's going to be a redstone build. Now, if you would like to skip through the video to a tutorial that you want to see right away, I always put underneath the name when the, <laughs> when the when the name pops up. Underneath the name, I'll have a timestamp of where you can go ahead and skip through the video and get right to the tutorial if you don't want to watch every single one of them. I do that with all my how to builds and if there's more than one of them. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump right into the first one. And it lies right over here in the corner right behind our enchantment table so right here above our head is a pressure plate because when we activate our electric wings we will phase through the block above us hitting a pressure plate now you can use a full block but you will hurt yourself on survival so i recommend just using a slab but i'm just giving a heads up you can use a full block so, so if i use my electric wings right here it will activate the pressure plate above my head opening up this block down here letting us through so i'll go ba boop and you'll see that the block opens up now if you're wondering why i only have one block opening up that's because we're using electric wings if you did not know you can get into one high spacings with your elytra wings i have an awesome tips and tricks video i have a link to that video in the description below but let's go ahead and access our secret room so what we do use our elytra wings boop and then we can go right through that block so uh you know what? let me just go ahead and do this first and then i'll do it in third person when we're leaving so boop activate it and then go right into our secret room <laughs> and inside my secret room all i have is a wooden shovel because why not well <laughs> You can put whatever you want in here, guys. If you want to have a, only a wooden shovel in here, you absolutely can. But I, I would highly recommend doing something a lot cooler than just having that wooden shovel. And to get out is this same exact thing. Just come right underneath this pressure plate. I'll do it in third person this time. Activate our electric wings. And then just go right through the block like nothing is there. Very, very cool and super easy to build. Recommend doing it with a slab so you don't hurt yourself in survival because, well... It doesn't really matter. You only take a half a heart of damage, but if you are wearing armor, I don't want you to waste your armor going in and out of this secret room all the time. Next up, we have a non-redstone related one. I thought this one would be good for a kitchen or maybe a workshop or something like that. As you see right back here, we have a trap door. And some people will think, oh, look, some hidden chests up here. This is where you hide all your goodies. You can throw a few things in there, you know, maybe, maybe be like, yeah, there's all my good stuff. But in actuality, back here is where your secret room is. So all you have to do is come right here, activate our electric wings, bloop, we'll go right in. I, you do take a little damage if you have furnaces like me right here and then all you have to do is just open up this trap door and boop there you guys have it there is your absolute secret room you can do whatever you like up here i just have a few extra chests that I can hide all my goodies i never really do anything crazy with the secret rooms this is only tutorial based to show you how to do it this one i don't feel like it really needs a tutorial but i'm always happy to show you guys how to build stuff and then to get out just activate your electric wings again and bloop go right on out of your secret room close up the trap door like nothing is there and like i said people will think these are your hidden chests when in actuality your hidden stuff is way way more hidden using your elytra wing third up on the list this one is absolutely insane you can do three different things with this one and probably way more if you have the brain for it <laughs> i just came up with these few that i thought was absolutely cool so if you did not know if you put staircases above your chest you can open your up your chest if you put a full block you absolutely can't so right here people will think oh you know this is where you just keep all your junk inside your chest however if you come right up to the wall since the chests are an indentation they you can phase underneath of the block with your elytra wing so just come right here i'm not going go in third person just come right here use your elytra wings and you will get right underneath next to your chest so all you have to do is just come up to your wall activate your elytra wings and you should be able to phase underneath the block right next to that chest so but dupe and if you're as bad as me then it's going to take you a few tries <laughs> so hopefully you're not as bad as me but there we go as you can see i am right here underneath this little lip of the chest and i can see right underneath here and there is my secret chest that holds all my goodies that no one knows about and then if i really want to if i come over here to the right hand side i have a lever that i could flip down activate that and that will open up a secret door on my floor letting me down into another secret room where i can hide my goodies i don't know why you need to hide your goodies this much <laughs> but i'm just showing different ways you can use this and that is two different ways you can hide stuff or have secret rooms and of course you can close it up behind you as well and now there's one more that you could possibly do with this one as well if we come right here and just go back into it please go right into it please don't be bad at this and just get right in there there we go <laughs> <laughs> let's go ahead and close up our secret entrance now so no one knows anything is there so bloop now it's closed if you really want to you could take out an ender pearl as well 
throw your ender pearl into the back right there and you can get into another secret room so bloop throw my ender pearl and boom as you can see i am now in another completely different secret room i have a few chests in here because that's all i do with my secret rooms whenever i do a tutorial i just throw a bunch of chests inside my secret rooms like i said you can do absolutely whatever you would like and then of course we can activate our lever from back here but you know who really cares and then to get back out just take out your ender pearls once again look right between the corner of your chest and then go ahead and just throw your ender pearl out and now you are out of your secret room next up is a really really cool one you can get inside a one high painting using your elytra wing so you've probably seen you know secret doors behind paintings before they always have to be at least too high so you can get through the door however with an elytra wing all you need is a one high painting which shouldn't really give any questions to if there's anything secret back there from people so if we come right here come right next to our painting and then just activate our elytra wings we should be able to phase through that painting like so if i wasn't so bad at this game <laughs> but as you see i went right through this one high painting i placed a staircase above my head so i don't take any suffocation damage and then all we have to do is just walk right through our secret painting and there we have it a bunch another secret chest <laughs> inside of a secret room and to get out is the same exact thing just activate your elytra wings and then walk right on out of your secret room so i'll go ahead and do that one more time right off this one high painting as you see there's nothing there if i try to jump into it i absolutely can't as long as i have my electric wings so i should be able to phase right through it and then once i want to leave just do the same exact thing just phase right through that one high painting like nothing is there now for the next two we have to go outside for so if we come right over here now you don't have to use an actual door when you're using your elytra wings you could just use a trap door right here so absolutely nothing can break through your door like zombies and whatnot so if to do is just be good at using this elytra wings <laughs> i'm so bad at using them i don't know why so come on please there we go <laughs> get through and then close the door up behind us why am i so bad at using these things so outside we have a water and a lava secret entrance now the water one's a little bit more noticeable now i'm i can easily see this i would recommend probably putting it deeper into the water so no one notices but normally if you go into the water and try to get down here you know you can't get in there you have to use your electric wings and now right now i'm trying to use my electric wings inside the water it's not working so the best way to get inside of this one is to activate your electric wings before you go into the water so if we go ahead and jump up and then activate our electric wings as you can see i'm now looking like i'm this looks like realistic swimming even though i'm like in this small little area and i'm twitching and going crazy <laughs> Okay, so all you have to do now is just come down here while you are activated in your elytra wings and then just go through this little one high block, bloop, right into your secret room. And there you guys have it. Very simple secret room to make underneath water. And this one is just the lava one over here. I'm going to show you how to get through the lava one as well. But now to get out, all you have to do is just activate our elytra wings and go through this block. So all you have to do is just be good at the game and use these elytra wings right, unlike me, where I have to use it 10,000 times and then just go ahead and walk right on out and then just swim right to the top. And there you guys have a very simple way to make an easy underwater base. Next up, we have the lava one. Now, if anyone is foolish to think you have a secret room under here, good on them. Good on them. They deserve to find your secret room. <laughs> because normally when you jump in lava, this happens. Yeah, you, you kind of die. <laughs> Now to get inside this secret entrance is quite simple. All you need to do is just take a fire resistance potion before jumping into the lava. However, here's the kicker. You can only get in there by using electro wings. So as you can see, I went in here without my electro wings. Now I can't get in there because it's a one block gap. We absolutely need our electro wings to get into that secret room. So let's go ahead and jump out. Now the cool thing about lava as well, you don't need to activate your electro wings while going into it. Because for some reason, I think when you take damage, it automatically just activates your electro wings. So once you just walk into the lava, as you can see, I automatically started swimming inside the lava because it will just automatically think I'm using my electro wings. So now what we have to do is just go all the way to the bottom, find the hole, and then just go right through it with our electro wings. Bloop, like that. And now we are inside of our secret room where we could definitely hide a bunch of goodies. And I wish this fire would go away. My face is on fire. Stop being on fire, please. Now to get out, it's going to be a little bit different. Since I have less lava here, I am going to have to activate my electro wings before jumping into the lava. So all we have to do is just run up double tap use our elytra wings and then just go ahead and swim right on out of the lava like there is nothing there i think this one's probably the best one to do simply because who's going to be looking inside the lava for stuff who's going to be just randomly jumping in lava hoping to find a secret entrance on you i just wish the fire would go away i had to wait like a minute for this fire to go away all right guys so let's get these tutorials on the way so the first one we're obviously going to be doing is the redstone one right over here like i said there was timestamps underneath every single one of the names so you could just jump right to any of the tutorials that you want some of these don't really need tutorials 
Maybe I'll just do them all anyway. They're very, they're all just very, very simple. Even the redstone ones are super duper simple. Now, I like placing this thing in the corner of my room. It just makes it easier to get into the secret entrance. You don't have to put it in a corner. You can put it right off a wall, but I just feel like this is definitely the easiest way to go. So first things off, we're going to go ahead and find the corner of one of our houses, rooms, inside a cave, wherever you want to put it, and just make sure that it is three blocks off the ground. So here's the corner of one of my rooms. Next up, we're going to put a slab right above us upside down in the corner of that room. Now, like I said, you can use a full block right here, but you will take damage if you use it. So I recommend just using a slab like so. Then we're going to place a pressure plate right above that slab because now we can activate our pressure plate by activating our electro wing. So I'll go into creative mode. As you can see, I'm going right through the block and I'm activating that pressure plate. I'll go ahead and do it in survival once we get everything done. So once the pressure plate is in, we're going to place a piece of redstone next to that pressure plate. So now when I hit it, bloop, it comes on. I'm going to come three blocks over from there. So we're at one, so two and three, placing three pieces of redstone away from it like that. So now when we hit it, bloop, all that redstone comes on. Next up, we're going to come down a block from this redstone right here with another piece of redstone like that and a redstone torch off the side. So when we hit the pressure plate, bloop, the redstone torch goes off. Next up, right underneath that redstone torch, just place another piece of redstone, and it should come on. Now, we're going to come back to this later, but let's go ahead and put in our sticky piston first. So right here at the corner, where we're going to be hitting that pressure plate, we're going to break this block right here, and then break down two more blocks. One, two, place a sticky piston facing upwards with a block of choice on top of it. I'm going to be using my bookshelves because I'm going to place my enchantment table over here in the corner like I did in, well, showing it off. <laughs> so now what we have to do is just bring this redstone over to this sticky piston. Very, very easy. So just come underneath the block, place a piece of redstone. Then break out this block, place a piece of redstone, and then just come over a block and place a piece of redstone like that. And there you guys have it. That's the entire thing completely done. And uh, well, not the inside, but let me go ahead and just show you that it's absolutely working. So now all we have to do is just walk into that corner, activate our electric wings, and we should activate the pressure plate right above us, opening up our secret entrance. So just come right into the corner. I'm going to do it in third person so you can see everything. Activate your electric wings. Bloop. And there we go. Right into our secret room like nothing is there. And as you saw, I did take some damage. So if you don't want to take absolutely any damage, I'm going to switch this back to create really quickly. All you have to do is just change it to a staircase above this block. So if you want to, but dupe and just place in a staircase like that. Now, all that's left to do is just place in the secret entrance. Well, I should say exit on this side. So place in that place a pressure plate on this side. Same exact thing on this side. And then just clean it up over here. So you don't have to see all this mess right here and right here like that as well and then of course hide up all of this so you can't see any of the redstone over here on this side as well now i'm going to go ahead and just quickly change a few of these uh, two bookcases because this is what's over here this is going to be where my enchantment table is so let me go ahead and take out an enchantment table as well that would make sense <laughs> so enchantment table there you are i just that right there and then just bring out our bookshelves so we have full enchants oh that was one too far away there we go and now we have like uh, I think that should be enough for full enchants. I don't know. <laughs> so just activate your light wings in the corner and then go right into your secret room. I completely stink at this though. Bloop, there we go. <laughs> into my secret room. And then of course, when I'm ready to leave, I'm gonna go do this in third person this time. Activate them, boop, and then walk right on out of my secret room. All right, guys, second up on the list, we have that secret room inside of the corner right here. Very, very simple to build. It doesn't really need a tutorial, but why not? Might as well just show you how to do it. So for this one, we're just gonna need a couple of furnaces. We're also gonna need some fence posts, some trap doors. And then I also like to throw a few secret chests in there just so people think, hey, look, there's a chest. And I think I also used a crafting table. I'm not 100% sure about that. <laughs> and then of course, just figure out whatever walling block you want. Let's go ahead and use blue this time. So we're gonna have to come to a corner once again. So here is my corner walling right here perfect and you know let's come out one more like that there we go so we're going to place two furnaces right here facing inwards with a crafting bench right there in the back place in a jungle fence well not jungle fence any fence will do really doesn't matter right there and right there place a furnace right here and right here and then on this side we're going to break out these two place in two chests like that and then off the side of this furnace place in your trap door so you can open and close it from the backhand side and then of course just place blocks behind the chest so it looks like nothing is fishy going on back here and there's pretty much where our secret chest so your friends will just think hey look there's some secret chest back here let's see what he has inside of him you could put some good stuff maybe in there maybe a little bit of iron being like yeah that's where my secret stuff is but in actuality if we go ahead and switch this over to survival if we activate our electro wings we can go right inside that corner area and this one you do have to be fast if you are using the furnaces you are gonna have to be a little bit faster with this one and then we could jump up here into where our secret room is and of course you could do whatever you'd like 
up here but let me go ahead and switch it to create real quickly so i can go ahead and make the secret room instead of just telling you what you can do and we can go ahead and just place maybe a few more blocks right here like that and like that so there is our pretty much our side of our house right here uh nothing fishy is going on here no hopefully no one thinks anything fishy is going on right here and then of course like i said do whatever you want up here this can go out as far as you want this is your secret room right here and then of course if you want to leave let me go ahead and switch it back to survival just open this up activate your elytra wings walk right on out close it up behind you like nothing is there next up on the list can get a little bit crazy because you can do pretty much whatever you want with this one you know you can get in there with ender pros you can activate redstone you can just have a chest up in the back with all your secret stuff there's so much you could possibly do with this one but let's go ahead and jump right into it so the first thing we're possibly going to need for this is some staircases for our walling of choice i'm going to be using oak stairs because oak wood is going to be my walling of choice we're also going to need some chests to so take out chests and we're also going to need some trap chests for this one as well so let's go ahead and put everything in first and then we'll get on with uh, everything else. So basically what we're going to do is let's change the flooring as well. So this is going to be my wall right here. Pretend this is our wall. This is our wall right here. That's our wall. <laughs> so right here, I'm going to go ahead and place in two trap chests. And then right next to my two trap chests, I'm going to go ahead and place in two normal chests. Because when we look down, we want to be able to see right through the corner of this little crack between our chests. Next up, we're going to come behind our chest and place staircases in upside down. So place in the first one and then place the next three upside down just like that now the reason why we want to do this is because if you have a full block you won't be able to open your chest so as you can see i can open up up right now absolutely fine however if you have a full block above the chest it won't let you open it i'm trying right now it will not let me open it you have to use a transparent block to be able to open up your chest so that's what we want next up we want to make sure you can't see back there we don't if you have someone walking up and they see something back there and they go oh whoa what's back there they're gonna have some questions and they're gonna try to get in there however if we place some blocks back here like that when someone's walking up we can't see absolutely anything as you can see nothing is back there no one will second guess that there'll be anything back there so if i went into survival right now but all i have to do now is just activate my elytra wings right here if i'm good at it and get down here and now i can pretty much do whatever i want here i can have levers i can have a secret chest i can use my ender pearls so let's go ahead and do the lever one let me go and quickly switch it back to creative so we want to have it open up let's say a secret door right here so let's place a few more blocks right around it like this there we go and we want to go ahead and put in our lever to open up a secret door that will let us into a bottom secret base of our house so right here off of any of these two blocks these two it doesn't really matter just place a block right above it let's use a different color as well i've been using oak a lot let me go ahead and use blue <laughs> so we're going to place a block one above like that and then we're going to place our lever off the bottom portion of this block so we're able to see it so if i come over here and i'm sorry that i have to keep switching it to survival but it's the easiest way to activate these elytra wings so all we have to do now is just activate our elytra wings get inside the floor and now we can see that lever from right down here i'm turning it on and off right now i'm just flipping it on and off a bunch so we can activate any redstone from the backhand side and i don't know if this is on now let me go ahead and take out some redstone uh just to make sure that this thing is on or not i have no idea but we're going to need redstone and then we're just going to need a sticky piston as well so let's see if i actually turned it on yep <laughs> i turned it on right now so uh let's uh yeah leave it off for now so we just want let's say this block right here to get pulled back into our secret entrance so let's break this block this block and this block right here and then off of the back block over here we're going to place a sticky piston facing forwards towards the front area so as you can see we can see the sticky portion of it place a block in front of it like that and then right here is going to be our secret entrance into whatever we want so you know you dig out this area dig out this whole area this is your secret base no one should know about it and it's going to be pretty hard to find it because you're gonna to have to use elytra wings to get into it so there's our secret base so now whenever i flip down this lever or flip it up so boop as you can see right now it's going to be oh i never brought the redstone over so <laughs> So first, we're going to have to bring the block over one more above the sticky piston and then place the redstone above it. And there we have it. So now when I flip down the lever, boom, it will close my secret entrance. Boom, it will open it up. And like I said, now you can do whatever you want down here. Let's go ahead and place some ladders in as well. So we'll take out some ladders and let's place in two ladders. Uh, I got to go down one more. I just have to. <laughs> I hate hitting my head on the ceiling. I like to have always one block above me because I just can't stand hitting my head on the ceiling. And boop, there we go. So now let's go back into uh, survival mode and just test out to make sure everything is working. So let's go ahead and close it for right now because we don't want anyone to know it's there. And let's go ahead and quickly change this flooring here as well. Perfect. So I'm gonna switch it over to survival, activate my wings, come down here, and then just look right up there and flip down the lever, boom, open up my secret entrance. And now I can go ahead and access all my goodies from in here and of course we want to be able to close it up from the bottom so if you have something you have to do for a while down there you can easily close it up from the end so to do that is quite simple what we're going to do is just basically break out the blocks where this sticky piston is and we want to break it down here so we can see where the lever is going so right here is the block where i want my lever going 
to flip it on and off from the inside and then just place a piece of redstone behind it and it should activate the sticky piston so bloop closes it bloop opens it up and there we have it let me go ahead and take out some man sight right now just because i want to keep everything uh, nice and clean looking so there we go so now if you uh opened it up from there and come to the inside and you have something you have to do for quite some time down here all you have to do now is just flip down the lever and now no i should have put some lighting down here it is super dark down here but now no one will know how to get in here because you could close it up from the inside and then of course when you're ready to leave just flip up the lever leave it by jumping up your ladder and then of course Use your elytra wings once again, and then turn on and off that lever right from over here. Boop, and it will close up your secret entrance like nothing is there. Now, of course, if you don't care about having a secret entrance with redstone through there, you can just place a chest back here and then have some goodies back here when you access it. Or if you really want to, you know, just put up a wall back here and then you can go ahead and just use your ender pearls to get in and out. So I just <laughs> quickly go ahead. I hate having to switch it back to survival. It's just so much easier on survival. So we're going to go like that. Activate our elytra wings. So now we can access that secret chest of goodies that we can have back there like that. Or if we take out ender pearls, which I didn't take. You, you get the gist of it. If we take out our ender pearls and throw it back there, then we'll be able to get back there and then just throw them to get back out and that is the third one next up on the list we have a very very simple one now i actually recommend putting this one on a staircase and this is the reason why i'm going to show a tutorial for this one it really doesn't need one but i had a super cool idea for this one because a lot of people will tend to put uh paintings along a staircase so what i mean by that is let's quickly go ahead and just take out let's say dark oak and then of course i'm just going to use normal oak for my walling and we're going to need a painting and a sign. So take out a sign and take out a painting. So what I mean by is when you have your ladder, let's say going up a uh, staircase, I mean, let me use the stair. I can't. I I'm so OCD with certain things. Let me go ahead and take out some dark oak planks as well. So when we have our staircase, let's say going up to our second floor of our house. So boop, boop, let's go ahead and just make it go up. Boop, boop, boop. I'm going to make it just go up four. So one, two, three, and four. There we go. So that's my staircase going up to my second floor of my house now right next to our staircase there should be a walling hopefully unless your staircase is outside then don't listen to me i am crazy <laughs> we will normally have some sort of painting going up the you know next to our staircase going up next to it like that or something like so so if you want to i recommend maybe putting a painting on the side of your staircase to get inside of it like that because then maybe people won't really second guess it too much they i mean they shouldn't second guess it that much if they do then congratulations to them they deserve to find your secret entrance <laughs> so uh, i think i've one in like that should be good yeah make sure it's at least one block it might work here too as well i'm gonna try it out later on but we're gonna go ahead and just break this and let's you know let me go ahead and try it out right now we're gonna place, place the sign right here and we're gonna go ahead and test it out everything should work fine and then what i also like to do is place a staircase above it this is just so you don't take any suffocation damage while going into it so boop place in a staircase like that so you don't take any suffocation damage and let's quickly go ahead and switch it to survival to make sure everything is working so you know activate your light wings and boom right into your secret room right back here like nothing is there and of course we have to have some sort of flooring there so we don't fall out so now i'm going to quickly go over here and change this one over now i just want to see if i can do it I, this is completely right now me i'm just seeing if i can do it so boop place sign there let's see if we could do because this would be a lot cooler if it was there this would be way better if it was here so let's try it here and activate my electric wings and i don't think so maybe if i come up the one part of the stair then do it nope it doesn't look like it maybe you might be able to do it you might be able to do it if you're if you're really good you might be able to do it Ugh. uh yeah <laughs> be good be good be good oh i did it yes oh i did it. <laughs> oh Oh, that was that was tedious. <laughs> that was very tedious. Okay, yeah. Let me go to switch it back to creative. I recommend just putting it over. You can do it though. You just saw it. You can do it, but I recommend just putting it here. Just make sure that it's one block off the ground. But you absolutely can do it. Let me go to place in my uh, painting once again. But do like that, and then just come back here, and this can be your secret room right back here. You can do whatever you like back here. Completely up to you. Switch it over to survival once again, and do, -do. we can leave our painting, and then when we want to go into it, but do and right into our secret room like nothing is there and for these two guys i really don't think you need a tutorial for them uh they all you need to do is just go in the water dig out a one space hole you know first dig out two, build your base and then make a one space hole and it's absolutely fine all you need to know is that you have to let me take out some fire for the lava one you're going to need a fire resistance potion so you don't die of course all you really need to know is just to activate your elytra wings before you go into the water it just makes it a lot easier so you know just activate them and then go into your secret hole from here that sounded weird <laughs> but now we can go ahead come down here and access our secret base you really don't need a tutorial on it i hope you don't and then to get out same exact thing that we've been doing this whole time you know just be good at minecraft and not as bad as me and get inside the 
stupid one high gap flooring. I'm so bad at this. So I'm finally <laughs> and then just leave the air. So like I said, for the water one, all you have to do is just activate your elytra wings before you get into the water. Just activate them before you get into the water so you can actually get into that secret base. And then for the lava one, you know, just make sure you have fire resistant potions or you will die from the lava and it should activate your elytra rings once you go into the lava you shouldn't have to activate them before you go into them and then like i said you know just dig out a one hole spacing and i was spazzing out before so now i don't know where it is there it is <laughs> oh there we go and right into my one high spacing and into my secret base and then of course to get out just go bloop and then walk right on out of it so like i said make sure you have that fire resistance potions though so you don't uh well burn up and die <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that to happen. But there you guys have it. That is all the secret rooms that you can access only using your Elytra Wings. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. And I'm pretty sure I just broke something. All right, guys. Peace.